Dan Campbell. Did he cost his team a Super Bowl berth? Did he cost his players the opportunity to play in the biggest game of their NFL career? Did he also cost the city of Detroit their opportunity to finally see their team play in the big game, the Super Bowl? The Detroit Lions have been bad for a long time, and I mean long, long, long time. We're talking 32 years worth of bad. They finally was able to have another successful, good regular season. They went 12 and 5. 12 and 5. They beat some teams that they probably never should have beat. They actually had a lot of success during the regular season. They was able to make it to the playoffs, host two NFC playoff games, and win. One against the Rams, one against the Packers, and then they was able to advance to the NFC Championship game to play the San Francisco 49ers. Now, everything looked pretty good, right? A true underdog story, the Detroit Lions, who once this decade was Owens' his team. And ironically, Mr. Dan Campbell himself was actually on that team. So they brought Dan Campbell in to bring grit to the team, bring some sort of intensity to the team, bring some focus to the team, and bring some sort of discipline. Now, he checked all those off. The only problem with Dan Campbell is that he has an ego. Dan Campbell, Mr. We're going to play like we always play. This is who we are. Why change it up? This is a formula for our success, and I'm going to stick to it no matter what. So here we are, advanced to the championship game for the San Francisco 49ers. The Detroit Lions are pounding the 49ers in the first half. What happens? The real Dan Campbell shows up. The Mr. Ego Man shows up. Now, you would think he would have learned this lesson back when he played my Dallas Cowboys, and the decision that he made did not pay off. The Detroit Lions lost to the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas because Dan Quinn again tried to make something happen out of nothing and went for it on fourth downs two or three times in the Dallas Cowboys game that equal a loss for the Detroit Lions. Not to mention that he reported, did not report type thing. They still had three more opportunities to try to beat the Dallas Cowboys and failed against the Dallas Cowboys and end up losing that game, which you would think he would have learned his lesson, right? He didn't. He didn't. Now you're in the playoffs. You're in the NFC Championship game. A Super Bowl berth is on the line. Now what do you do? On the road, you take your points, right? Well, Mr. Dan Quinn decided not to take his points. Dan Campbell decided not to take his points, right? On two occasions, Dan Campbell gambled and went for it on fourth down. Now the first time he didn't get it, fine, okay, cool, right? You up 17 points. Granted, a field goal there probably would have put you up three possessions and made it a lot harder for the San Francisco 49ers to come back in that game, right? But no, you go for it. You don't get it. It's a drop pass. Little did he know that would turn around the game and give the San Francisco 49ers the momentum that they need to come back and answer 17 points off rip. Now, granted, the running back did fumble. That did lead to the San Francisco 49ers even closing the gap or leaving closer to them, right? But here we are, fourth quarter. The 49ers are up by three. I think the score was what? 27-24? Now, granted, Super Bowl berth on the line, right? All you need to do is tie the game up, right? Eight minutes left in the game. That's plenty of time. And Mr. Dan Campbell decides to go for it again on fourth down, and they don't convert. So that is six points that you left on the field and you end up losing the game by three. Mr. Dan freaking Campbell. I think Dan Campbell is the type of guy that if he was playing blackjack and he's sitting on 19, he'd be like, yo, hit me. That man would be looking for the two to try to get 21, even though it is very, very likely that you win that hand at 19. Mr. Dan Campbell is a gambler. I'm not following him for being a gambler. Cool. But with a playoff berth on the line, the city of Detroit behind you, everybody's behind you, America is behind you. You got one job. Beat the San Francisco 49ers for the Dallas Cowboys, okay? For fans like me, I want you to beat the, the San Francisco 49ers, but you don't. Your ego comes into it, you get the big head, and then you don't convert, right? And then you end up losing the game. So imagine losing a game by six, losing the game by three, I'm sorry. And you left six points on the field. Now, granted, we don't know if the Detroit Lions, if they take those three points, if they still win the game. But the probability of them winning that game is still kind of high, right? So Dan Campbell got to get out of the D Detroit Lions' way. 
I don't even think the Detroit Lions can even win or be successful going forward with Dan Campbell as a coach. Right? Like, it's plenty of times during this season where that man has went for it and they end up costing the team. Now, one would think that he would learn his lesson, especially after the Dallas Cowboy game, right? No, he didn't. Now, he has no regrets. He said he would do it again. He believed in his players. That is all well and good. Super Bowl berth on the line? Up 17? Playing on the road? How could you not give, go for your points? That is like the most common rule in the NFL. You're playing on the road, you take your points. If you're playing at home, maybe you go for it right. Maybe you don't convert, but on the road? Super Bowl berth on the line? Detroit Lions ain't won nothing in 30 something years. Man, that was a good coaching heartbreak. And I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, so trust me, I know all about coaching heartbreaks. Jason Garrett. <laughs> How long did the Dallas Cowboys have Jason Garrett? Too long. How many seasons did he derail the Dallas Cowboys from even being good? Too many. So I kind of see the Detroit Lions going on that same path with Dan Campbell. So unless Dan Campbell gets out of his own head and stop thinking, and kick the field goals, take the points, do what you got to do to make sure that your team is successful, they're never going to win anything. And it's a shame. I feel bad for the players, and I feel bad for the fans because they deserve that Super Bowl berth. They deserve to beat the San Francisco 49ers after being up 17. Now, granted, it wasn't a given, but it was looking pretty good. Those players played too hard and too good in the first half for Dan Campbell to come out in the second half and not adjust on defense and to go for it on fourth down and pretty much get the San Francisco 49ers the momentum that they need to get back into the game. So you let me know in the comments and in the freaking uh, reactions where not you agree if Dan Campbell is the coach to take the Detroit Lions to the Super Bowl and beyond. I'm not convinced. I don't think so. I think he should probably be fired. I think the Detroit Lions should start over at coach because they're never going to win with a gambler like that. Like he gambles way too much and he lets his ego get in the way. And that's a big thing. That's a problem. And that's a huge problem for the Detroit Lions. So get out Detroit while you can. Trust me. I'm a Cowboy fan. I know. <laughs> get out while you can. But in the meantime, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon. So, you know, when I post another video and I post more thoughts and reactions soon, peace out.